Hey everyone, and welcome to my quick video on Blender's right select mode and some settings I use to improve it. From version 2.8 of Blender, the default way to select is with the left mouse button, but there is still an option in the settings to change back to the right mouse button. I am in no way saying that one way is better than the other, it's just personal preference. So I'm going to show you the settings I use when I use right select. Saying that, I will summarize the main reason that I use right select. With left select, selection and actions are both performed using the left mouse button. So if I want to select a vertex, I use left click, and then if I want to move it around, I use left click to move its position. Right select mode doesn't just swap the buttons round, it actually separates out selection to the right mouse button. So actions are still performed with the left mouse button, but selection is separated off to the right mouse button. Let's see why I think this is an important distinction. So still with left select, if I select a vertex on this cube and I want to move it, I can just click and drag on the arrows and that works fine. But if I wanted to select another vertex that's underneath one of these arrows, it can be a little bit tricky if there's a slight amount of movement when you press the left mouse button to select something, I've actually just moved this instead. Now if you get it just right and just click without moving, it works fine. But sometimes you can, in a rush, go to click something and you accidentally move it instead. So let's switch over to the right select mode. To do this, we go up to Edit Preferences, then switch over to Key Map, and at the top we have select with mouse button and left is selected. So we just click on right. Easy. Now to select a vertex I have to right click on it. And then to move it I left click again. So that's the default right click mode. But there's a few other settings I like to change to make it exactly how I like it. Let's show you some of the issues. If you right select, it selects a vertex. But if you right select and drag, it actually moves. So obviously that's not what I want. And also there's box selecting, which you can still do with the left mouse button. Again, we want select just to be on the right mouse button. So there's two settings we can change to fix this. Again, we'll go back to the preferences and we are under the key map section of the preferences. Let's make this a bit bigger so we can see. First, let's stop the right mouse button drag from moving anything. To do that, we go under the 3D view and then the 3D view global section. And in here, we want to find a preference for move. If we scroll down a bit, we should find it. Here we go. So the default move keyboard shortcut is G, but we also have this tweak option, which is set to the right mouse button. Well, we don't want that, so I'm just going to deselect it. So now, if I right click and then if I drag around, nothing happens. I can't accidentally drag a vertex around. I can only select it. Next, let's fix the box selection. Again, under key map. Let's open this up again. This time, we want to go out of the global settings and into the object mode settings. And in here, we've got the 3D view tool select box, and I'm just going to deselect all of them. And then I might even save preferences. So now, if I try and drag a selection box with the left mouse button, nothing happens. I can only select with the right mouse button. And if I drag the right mouse button around, I can't accidentally move anything. And then if I want to move, I can use the left mouse button as normal. And no matter what I do, I can't accidentally select another vertex. So you can see we've completely separated out selection and action now. You might be wondering, well, how do I get the right mouse button menu, the specials menu? All you have to do is press W. And there is our menu back. This also helps with texture painting and bone weight painting and a few other things. I hope you found that useful. Bye.